Okay, so here I am again with this beautiful new instrument called the Dulce Box made by Richard Ash of Folkcraft Instruments in Woodburn, Indiana. Folkcraft.com. There's two versions of this that he makes according to his website. I have the one that includes the Fishman pickup, but if you don't need a pickup, you can have it for a little bit less money than that. In any event, if you go to his website, um, just scroll down on the models that he has available and this will be there. So I've just really been enjoying noodling on this and I've discovered, I put, it, I put my tuner on it. Actually, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but it doesn't matter. I've played each fret up to the seventh and they're all perfectly in tune. It doesn't happen all the time. So there's D, E, yeah, I have to get this so that you can see this. I hope. Okay. So I have it tuned nicely to D, I think. Let me check. Yep, okay. There's E, F, F sharp, G, A, B, C, C sharp, D. I'm perfectly in tune at every fret. And another thing that I'm noticing, it's weird not having a strum hollow down here. Um, as I was strumming earlier, I realized that I'm kind of strumming across these two frets right here. I think that's probably the sweet, sweet spot. I almost never use the strum hollow anyway, so this um, little bit of a variation in, in how I play it. But 99% of the time I'm finger picking and this is where my fingers would be right here around these, these frets. So I decided to do a little sound test and compare it with my standard dulcimer. This is made of exactly the same material. This is butternut on the top and walnut um, and back and sides. And if I finger pick good old bottom cabbage, That's how it sounds. But if I do exactly the same way on this dulcy box, this is how it sounds. It has big presence. And yes, I could plug it in but I want to hear how it sounds acoustically. Now, switching back to my other standard dulcimer, this is my Manx version. Richard made this specially for me with the Three Legs logo from the Isle of Man. Where did I put my pick? Good question. I think the pick is on the floor, and I should have looked for that before I turned on the camera. Okay, so Baldam Cabbage again, using a pick on my standard. Okay, plenty of sound there, which is again exactly what you expect. Now let's compare. Same exact thing. the vibrations as the sound emits from this lower bound. Now if I did play above this area here, pretending that there's a strum hollow there, I mean the strum hollow still exists even though it's not physically there, or Most dulcimers 
does have what I call a sweet spot that is somewhere slightly to your left of the strum hollow. And I really do kind of aim for these two frets when I'm finger picking especially and strumming across uh, on a piece like this. Let me play a little bit of um, one of my pieces from the St. Kilda medley. I should have also mentioned something very important. I'm pretty sure this is a 25 inch PSL. That seems to be, for me and for many players, that's the Goldilocks length. 27, 28, too long, 23, too short, 25, which is dry. Okay. Artie would say hi, but he's already asleep. So thanks for joining me on this one. Stay tuned. There will no doubtedly be lots more to come. Thanks.